You are just, O Lord, and your judgment is right. Treat your servant in accord with your merciful love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, in regards to virgins, I have no commandment from the Lord, but I give my opinion as one who by the Lord's mercy is trustworthy. So this is what I think best because of the present distress, that it is a good thing for a person to remain as he is. Are you bound to a wife? Do not seek separation. Are you free of a wife? Then do not look for a wife. If you marry, however, you do not sin, nor does an unmarried woman sin if she marries. But such people will experience affliction in their earthly life, and I would like to spare you that. I tell you, brothers, the time is running out. From now on, let those having wives act as not having them. Those weeping as not weeping. Those rejoicing as not rejoicing. Those buying as not owning. Those using the world as not using it fully for the world in its present form is passing away. The word of the Lord. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. Hear, O daughter, and see, turn your ear. Forget your people and your father's house. So shall the king desire your beauty for he is your Lord, and you must worship him. All glorious is the king's daughter as she enters. Her raiment is threaded with spun gold. In embroidered apparel she is borne into the king. Behind her the virgins of her train and are brought to you. They are borne in with gladness and joy. They enter the palace of the king. The place of your father, your sons shall have. You shall make them princes through all the land. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Rejoice and leap for joy. Your reward will be great in heaven. Alleluia. 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 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Raising his eyes toward his disciples, Jesus said, Blessed are you who are poor, for the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are now hungry, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who are now weeping, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude and insult you, and denounce your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice and leap for joy on that day. Behold, your reward will be great in heaven. For their ancestors treated the prophets in the same way. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. But woe to you who are filled now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will grieve and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for their ancestors treated the false prophets in the same way. The Gospel of the Lord. People who are in the business of investing, they invest their wealth, they invest their resources in, in profitable futures. They have to see that the companies or the stock or the things that they plan to put their resources and their money in will grow will then bear fruit and bring them some profit. Otherwise, why would you invest in a company that's sinking, in a company that has no future and no growth and will not be around this coming year or the next year or the year after that? So investing takes some study and takes some uh, planning so that you invest in a good company or a good stock that will bear you some profit. Why else would you invest otherwise? What we hear in the gospel reading today is something beyond our experience a little. Because what Jesus is telling us is to invest something that is not of this world. He's, he has a vision that is beyond this world. Because in this world, we look at the things that are materialistic, that are material, that are profitable to us, consoling to us, satisfying to us right now. We can't see beyond the limitations that we have. And the limitations that we have tell us that we should be full. We shouldn't go hungry. Tell us that we should have wealth. And that we shouldn't depend on other people's resources. So that avoid poverty. Tell us to strive for happiness here below because that's what we know. And Jesus is telling us, no. To follow me will require you to have a vision that is beyond the limitations of this world. And the limitations of this world hold us down to what we can see and experience and feel now. That's why the gospel reading emphasizes those of you who are rich now, those of you who are full now, those of you who are happy now because you think you are satisfied, you think you have all that you have and all you need, and he's telling us that will not be enough. He's telling us that the world that he wants to open us to is beyond the limitations of the material world we live in now. Open your eyes to something greater and better. And that's what he's trying to tell us. The good news is the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God is beyond the ability that we can see the limitations that we can experience. And so that's 
wonderful for us to remind to be reminded that if you are to be a disciple of Christ, you cannot be worldly in your views. Your views must be more heavenly. It must be upward leaning rather than downward leaning. And so that's important for us. And certainly St. Paul emphasized that very much in that letter to the Corinthians in the first reading, the first epistle, which we have heard today. If you're married, stay married. If you're not married, don't go get married. Live as you are. Why? Because the end, everything you see is passing away. These are views that, are, that require a deep, profound, spiritual enlightenment coming from our Lord Jesus. And he strove to do that to the frustration that we see sometimes that is expressed in some ways in the gospel reading. He does all he can to open our mind and our hearts that the kingdom of heaven is not just here below. And we need to invest in something that has a future, a bright future in heaven. And that's where our investment should be. Today's also 9-11. I know some of you, let me see here, some of you probably were not born when that happened. In 9-11, 2001, we know exactly what happened. The terrorists and all who were complicit in that a terrorist act of flying the planes into the two buildings there in New York and uh, brought them down. So many firefighters, so many uh, police officers, chaplains. Uh, there was a priest there also running in there with, uh, into the buildings uh, to help those who were in those buildings. And those buildings came crashing down and all who were in them uh, perished. And so that was 23 years ago. And we need to pray and remember to pray for all the victims of the 9-11 uh, disaster uh, 23 years ago. Pray for all their families that were affected. Pray for all those who uh, in the heroic act of charity was trying to go in to the danger uh, to, to, to help and save all the victims that they could uh, out to get them out of that building, uh, those buildings uh, that were affected. Also remember to pray a couple years ago uh, Alex Mueller died, and we want to pray for the repose of his soul today as well. With confidence, let us bring our prayers and our needs before the Lord. We pray for all the members of the church, may God help us renew our commitment each day to make him the center of our lives, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all civic leaders that they may be guided by the Holy Spirit to work for the common good, we pray to the Lord. We pray, of course, for all the victims of 9-11. We pray for all those who are victims of the fire that is happening in the canyons. Uh, all the firefighters that are involved in fighting those fires, we pray th that the holy angels will protect them, keep them safe. We pray to the Lord. For increase in vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life and the sacrament of marriage in this community, we pray to the Lord. And for all who have died, we pray for our lo of loved ones, our family, and our friends, those who are dear to us, and for Alex Mueller that they may soon enter into God's eternal paradise, we pray to the Lord. In a special way, we offer this Mass for the uh, intentions of the Dyson family, we pray to the Lord. Loving and gracious God, you invite us to follow your Son and so come to the fullness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Bless you, Lord God, of all creation. For through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruits of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we, wait, we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we, pr we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints that please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. <clears throat> Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. On you stay, Guitoli specata mundi, Quitoli specata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, o Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We will sing hymn number 236 in the, in the, in the hymnal in honor of the Blessed Mother after the St. Michael's Prayer. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Ducedo. Espes nostra salve. A te clamamus, exules filii eve. A te suspiramus, gementes efflentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Eia ego, advocata nostra, illos tuos, misericordes oculos, a nos converte. E Jesum, Benedictum flutum ventris tui, nobis, pos hoc exili 